now we come to to the topic where we try to find out the angle between the two planes okay now it might seem a very tedious thing to do but it is actually a very simple thing so so see maybe i have got i have got uh, so wait it is angle between two planes okay how do i find out the angle between the two planes so let me draw one of the planes first of all say this is a plane okay this is a plane i have shown it to be sort of a horizontal plane not essentially so it may be any way say say like this or like that okay wherever now this is cut by another plane and how do i draw that hmm say say i have a plane which is sort of sort of this no what mistake have i done i will not straight wait wait yes. so if there is a plane that sort of cuts it okay it may be may be something like like this okay something like this and this may be something like this no no wait 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 so this may be something like this this will vanish right this gets extended this all the way comes from behind no this comes all the way from the back and it is visible to you here right and how is it visible it is kind of like this so i don't know looks like two planes being cut yes looks like that right no you people do not see that so so i have got a horizontal and i have got a vertical i have got a vertical like that these are the two planes okay so they cut like this it looks like that okay fine should look like that yes okay now just try to think we are trying to find this angle which angle this angle theta okay okay now it seems as if it is a difficult job to do but it is not why why is it not see if if this is a plane okay this is a plane and if if this is a plane and this is another plane and 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 the pens that i'm holding like this they are say say the the normal to the planes okay it looks like that so so these are two planes now these are normals okay these are normals now if the planes are parallel you see then what happens to the normals they are also parallel is it not they are also parallel so when the planes make an angle of 0 degree the normals also make an angle of 0 degree 
okay if the planes are at 90 degree normals are also at 90 degree do we see that they are at 90 degree that means whatever is the angle between the planes is the angle between the normals and normals are vectors vectors if i am given two vectors will you be able to tell me the angle yes a dot b is equal to mod a mod b cos theta so cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by mod a mod b so it's quite simple isn't it the angle between the planes is the same as the angle between the normals so we write that statement the angle between the planes is maybe i try to draw a normal say the normal will look something like this so i have got a normal like that and i have got a got a normal like that so 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 it is for this plane okay this plane has got has got this as say say this as normal now what happens so whatever is this angle this angle is the same do we see that i can show you show that to you like this they were parallel they were parallel these these pens are in the same line i start moving it like this you see the pens also start making the same angle is it not when i am 90 degree they are also 90 degree they are also 90 degree so so this angle this angle this angle between the blue and green pens is the same as this correct so the angle between the planes is the same as the angle between the normals correct the angle between the planes is the same as the angle between the normals now now then it becomes quite an easy job sorry it becomes quite an easy job so let the planes be let the planes be r dot n1 is equal to d1 okay r dot n1 is equal to d1 see the book has taken it as d1 i do not want you to do that why because in the beginning while doing the normal form we had seen that we had seen that we had seen that that when this is n cap this is small d then this is the actual distance i want you to maybe retain that or if you are if you have fully understood it then you can drop that from your mind okay but the book takes it like this so don't get alarmed that this is not n cap why have they written d1 that means here in this specific case this d1 is not the distance from the origin we get that so keep that in mind so r dot n2 is equal to d2 so what do i have to do which are the normals n1 and n2 okay so angle between n1 and n2 is given by by what n1 dot n2 is mod n1 mod n2 cos theta correct mod n1 mod n2 cos theta now what happens so what is cos theta isn't it easy to do 
What is cos theta? That is it. That's all we need to do. So, so cos theta is equal to n1 dot n2 divided by mod n1 mod n2. Correct? That's all. That's all. So, 